The cave that you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek. What's up to all my scrappers, junkers, haulers of all kinds? Gold Champ here. We're going to continue our chat about basing our beers. Once again, revisiting the quote from Joseph Campbell, the cave that you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek. It was another thing that scared me that you might think shouldn't have because I'd already done it. And that's buying work trucks. We already talked about heavy equipment, but we're gonna talk about trucks today. And I say trucks plural because that's really what this is about. One truck, no big deal. If I fail, I can go get a job, still manage to make my truck payment and hang on to my truck. Two trucks, it's a little scarier. Two trucks means another person that I have to trust with my truck. Another person I have to insure. And another person that I have to ensure has work to do. You get two trucks and two drivers, and you've only got enough to keep one person on the road, you got a big problem. You got a big payment. And that was really scary for me as well. I was not sure that there would be enough. And so I put it off, and I put it off, and I put it off, just like everything else that I've discussed with you guys. And I put it off until I literally just couldn't handle the work anymore. It was physically too much. I was working 12 to 16 hours every day, feeling miserable, and frankly, I still feel the effects of it physically. The amount of work I was doing, and as hard and fast as I was going, was unhealthy. Dangerously unhealthy. So anyway, it's kind of sad, but a lot of times with a lot of us, myself included, which is the example I'm giving right now, it takes a bigger fear to make us face the one we should have faced already. It was the advent, you might say, of the fear that I might not be able to keep up with this, that I might fail doing this on my own, that the life that I've been working my ass off to build for my family for myself for 10 years in this business and a lot more before that. I've had many jobs, had a few businesses. I've been working like a madman the whole time. And it finally caught up with me physically and it finally became very clear to me that I was not going to be able to keep going a thousand miles an hour that I was going to fail if I did not make changes. Suddenly, buying another truck and asking someone to come help me wasn't so scary. Not nearly as scary as physically falling apart and losing everything that I worked for. So we make the changes. I bring in my sister. Mary is fantastic. She helps me to restructure everything, including the way that I think about business, this business, business in general. She helps me to perform the hiring process to get background checks done properly, drug testing, all the stuff that a good boss does. And we do it and it's fantastic. We have, for now, you know, knock on wood, 
don't know if cardboard counts. We have enough to keep us all going as things stand right now. Winter is always slow, but we'll see when winter time hits if we still have enough to keep everyone busy and going. I don't know, but with the other services we're adding in, junk hauling, etc., I'm hoping that we can fill any gaps somewhat easily just through doing a good job of marketing ourselves. But anyways, I'm forced to face that fear. And it turns out to be one of the best decisions I've ever made. To let go of a little bit of control to, in a paradoxical way, gain control. Because, like the Darth Vader, or uh, Princess Leia says to Darth Vader, the tighter you squeeze, the more that will slip through your fingers. Well, that's the way it was. I thought I was controlling things. I thought I was in control. And I was keeping a tight grip on everything. And it was slowly but surely starting to slip on me. And so, by letting go a little bit, I have actually gained more control over the business, over the future of the company, myself, my own life, and my own body. So facing that fear has opened us up to the possibility of doing these other things, these other services that we're trying to incorporate, other aspects of the business that we're trying to grow. As I just said, I couldn't even continue what I was already doing. There's no way I was adding anything new and I needed to add new things. If I had not let go just a little bit, none of it happens. And now we have a brighter future than I ever envisioned when I was doing this by myself and convincing myself that by myself was the best way and that I didn't want to deal with other people. Thought I was being smart. Thought I had it figured out. Turns out I did not. Now, there are definitely some positive sides to working alone, a lot of headaches you can avoid, but it limits you so much that it's really impossible just to put into one video and one chat. I've already given a couple good examples of how I was limited and did not even know it. And I do truly feel like the possibilities are limitless now. I've got good people helping me. People that are invested in the business and want, want to grow, want to try new things and see what we can really do. You know, when we really go for it. Because I really was not going for it. I was very happy staying right where I was until I wasn't anymore. So like I've asked in the last two chats, what's holding you back? What is it that scares you? Is hiring something that scares you? Do you have enough work or could you get enough work? Have you had people asking that you've turned down? And the only reason is because you don't have help? There are just not enough hours in the day? Physically impossible to take on that work? And if so, What's stopping you? What are you afraid of? Is it the possibility of failing? Sure, that's scary. But is that what's really holding you back? Or is it maybe, as it was with me and so many other people, the change itself? Is that what scares you? It was scary for me. 
scary enough for me to put off making the changes I needed to for so long that life came and made me do it. Physically must change one way or another. And either get with the program and be a part of that change or have it forced on me in a very unpleasant way. So where are you at? Are you being dragged along by the universe towards changes that you've been avoiding? Or are you doing your best to ride that wave? Wade into that current, so to speak, and trust not only the direction you're going, but your ability to stay afloat. Do you have enough faith in yourself that you can keep your head above water no matter what you hit, no matter what rapids you hit, no matter what undertoes you come across? Do you have that much faith in yourself? If not, why not? What is it that's holding you back? It's been a painful process for me to answer that question for myself. But it turns out that those were growing pains. 